Most people don't need a miracle, they need money because 90% of the things they pray about, money can solve. They feel so unblessed because they have little of it. They have been conditioned to think that they are only blessed when they have much of it. And this is coming from Timmy Dakolo. I couldn't write this tweet any better, to be honest. Mm. Like, I feel like he nailed it. He used the right words. I think my student communications just came out. When he used words like conditioning, blessings, miracle, and and the, you know, financial status. So it was, it was really spot on. It's true. It's very, very, very true. I've lived in two different types of world. One where it's um, money driven, like we need money, we need money, we're poor, and one that's affluent. And every time it works, if you take out, if you take out need, you take out religion. I'm not saying that religion isn't necessary. Spirituality is, 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 is it? key. Is religion necessary? I don't think it because is. Because you just said the right thing, spirituality, it's key. And yeah. that is the essence of our being. But which is what is yeah, very but important. spirituality and religion are the same. They're not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you take that out, if you take that um, need for money, you you break down churches, you break down a lot of businesses, you run out of all these programs that are happening three times, four times, six times a week. You break that. You break all of that down. But is this an insensitive thing to say to Nigerians? Is where I want to have this conversation because we're not. We don't have good. good an government. insensitive thing to say. Yeah, that because that doesn't, make, I, I feel that doesn't like, make it less the truth. Yes, but I think. <laughs> I think that in reality, yeah. Nigerians need churches. That's why I, mm. I yeah. Mm. I think they have done a lot of because nobody they, they else. need something to hold yes. on to, to for sanity. To, for, yeah, I think that's for sanity. Word. Like, what are you gonna give these people? We don't have government. I'm not gonna do it as a individual who's <laughs> more privileged. I'm not. I don't even give beggars money. So, who is going to actually help these people other than having like togetherness and unity, being able to share the little that they have? I've been to churches and in, mm -mm, remove sermons. It makes sense. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know, for me, this is right. I agree with the, uh, most of the things you did say, all right. I asked a few of my friends that, listen, if today you can have everything you ever want in, for life, mm -hmm. are you still going to go to church and pray? Would you still pray to I'll this still God? Pray. Why? But I'll probably go to church. I'm not even going because to church this is right what, now. Because this, 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 this is what I feel they reduce. I think the prayer will be different. This is what religion has reduced God to, maybe a particular religion, mm -hmm. that is, is, is a need meeting being. Mm -hmm. And that is the only way people get to connect with him when yeah. they have needs. And so when things are not okay, I got to connect with this spiritual source because he's my need provider. He, so mm -hmm. it's, it supplies my need. All right, and I say to people who live in countries where we don't faith, they don't face what we face here, your religion is not going to sell. If you, if you go to, to, to the UAE, your religion is not going to sell. What are you going to tell them that I'm um, trusting my God, is supply your need? What need are you talking about? Mm. All right. But like Shuali said, because the government has failed us. And so people need something to, it's like Novocaine, to, to lessen the pain. Mm -hmm. You know, things are not okay. So you're holding it on to the spiritual force you feel. But the, the more constant you're in, uh, you know, the more focus you give to it, it helps you resolve all of your let, issues. Let, but this is it again. Mm -hmm. um, this is money. This is religion. Mm -hmm. What would you go for? Okay, I, I like that you two took it from here. <laughs> but I won't take it from here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, what he's saying for some, because I read comments, and I li I, like I said, I like where you guys are taking it from. That's like on, on, on another level for yeah. those who really love their spirituality and want to live like a very defined life, right? But for some, it's just very basic. So a person needs help and mm. the person speaks to you and you say it is well. God mm. will help you. No, the person needs help. Yeah. Are you connecting this person to someone uh, who can help or them. you're going to help this person financially or you're going to advise them in a way that it will help them? It is well does not help anyone. And I sometimes agree. when you're deep in that mess, that word can actually break you, yeah. right? Or the phrase. And then secondly, I think this should also go to churches, especially when you have members. You, you're you flying private jets and you're driving the best cars, but your members, some of your members have not been able to eat or they cannot eat three square uh, meal, right? Good example is Cambridge University. The church built the, <laughs> Let's not even get the there. university, the, the but the people yeah. can't so afford can to you send their create, kids to that same Can university. you create like a system that can help those people? I know that there are churches that have systems for widows, systems for orphans. You can go in there and tap in. So it's not just saying get the admission, God will do something. They actually have a system yeah. to help you pay that school fees and of see course. you through school. But there are so many churches as well so that are not more, doing yeah. this, right? And they... I don't say misplaced priorities, but I think mm. that's, the, that's the best phrase I can yeah. use. So I think it's more, I think he's more of saying that we should 
try to help people yeah. when people are coming to you to say not just the churches not even as individuals when they're saying this is the issue i have yeah. mm. think about it from the angle of saying how can i help not yeah. always sending them to the bible and yeah. telling them it is well We've definitely it is well and god is not going everything. to come down to make it well he's going to use somebody can you try to be the vessel that god is going to use yeah. and if you cannot be that vessel in maybe in the, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bigger way you can also be that vessel in a smaller way by the words you choose to use and it's also good to mention that well, I'm, well, I'm not saying that um developed countries don't have churches it's they just do. very watered down and almost more personal than group in and shilo and all of that stuff um so there is still that um, um, aspect of spirituality because man isn't just flesh we know that so how you decide <coughs> to feel that exists globally the one thing i would say though is i always imagine like what would nigeria look like without religion because religion plays the family planning if the government if the, the government was working it's not just about the government now mm. it's about it's the about, people it, it, yeah it's, they, they do family planning they do um, um, Reli um religion would not just be they do all the things where in uh, abroad you have like a call center for rape you go not, to your church you have planning. a call center for this you go to your pastor. You mentioned family plan over the weekend i was with a friend and we were speaking to someone and well you can still classify this person as one of the rural people in the society right. and he said he has three children now and my friend says are you done with having children i said yes i don't finish you and then i said are you done by saying you are done or you're actually taking measures to right. make sure you're done and he's saying ah god no give me another one and i'm like okay mm -hmm. Clearly, he's not yeah. done. We're yeah. expecting another baby soon. Of I, mean, I think my final thoughts is at this, right? I'm not going to downplay the, the importance and um, the sukkah religion has given to a whole lot of souls. Maybe mm -hmm. by now, um, we have a lot of madness in our street than what is currently obtainable. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying that for the essence of what many people hold on to religion to, it's not what it's meant to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is failure of leadership, of government. Right? Are there churches doing their best to help people yeah, every are. now and then? They yes, there are. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying people need to understand the fact that, you know what, he's not just a need meeting being. Mm. He wants a relationship. That's yeah. what they say. He, so, it, could man, be a she. it could be a she. Okay. Man.